speaking at the event, the resource person, Dare Akini, said Governor Kefes has brought new style to governance where citizens are aware of revenue generation as well as expenditure. He commended the governor for the transparency and accountability in his administration. My happiness to be given this opportunity to say what Nigerians know about His Excellency Abu Kefas. A lot has been said by speakers before now, not only today. In our culture in Nigeria, 100 days normally comes in manner of jamborees. And I must say this is the first time a governor in Nigeria will be having an engagement with the media talking about what he has done in 100 days, what he will do, and the tax ahead. I want to say um, what people know about you in the state is different from what Nigerians know. You have remained the poster boy of the PDP. And one of the few leaders who will represent the youth of this country. If I'm not mistaken, before the end of the year, you'll be 53, by the special grace of God. You are the one of the few young persons who have brought in youth inclusiveness and women in politics. You have not only added vibrant youth to your cabinet, you have balanced it with some few intelligent women. And these are the attributes that we have seen in few nationalists in this country. And I must say that we are not looking at these 100 days. We are not looking at four years. We are not looking at eight years. We are looking at at the, at the end of your eight years, we the young people can say we have someone who can represent us as the president of this country. <laughs> I'm saying this not because uh, I've been asked to talk about perception. I'm saying this because of what Nigerians have said. And how do we know what people are saying outside Taraba? A quick look at your social media pages. Your personal one that has been running for some years but became so active three months ago when you were elected governor. Before now, Taraba State has been struggling side by side with Sokoto State to be on the line of the most poorest state in Nigeria. But with 100 days having a book of us, we can now talk of parents not bothering about paying school fees from their primary to secondary, paying half of the tuition in the university. And I will say that foundation matters in anything you do. You have laid the best foundation in your first 100 days and we know with all that you've reeled out in your speech now, I think we have no fear that Taraba State will compete favorably amongst the Committee of States. Other activities at the event included interactive session between the governor and journalists who asked questions concerning some policies of government while also providing counsel to add value to the administration. Men of Taraba State, thank you so much, sir, for including the women, I specifically asked you a question. The first time we had a media chat with you here, I asked that you promised to carry the women along in your government. And of course, you promised us you're going to do so. And today we have seven commissioners. I want to say thank you. <laughs> Another thing, sir, I want to talk about is the, I don't know if there is any monitoring and evaluation team to see to the good gestures you've made to the schools, the, the education sector especially, especially in the universities and other institutions you've uh, declared, um, you know, you reduce their fee to half. Some of the things we are hearing as journalists from these people is that, especially in the school fees, after reducing the school fees, um, hostels fees have been increased, especially almost doubling the host hostel fees and other things like that. So it's like not receiving from here, they're trying to pay from here. So we don't know if there are monitoring and evaluation team that has been set on ground to see that. And of course, um, they talk about uh, 
defense when they are doing defense and every other thing instead of getting the school fees now they are using all these uh, other things to get the money back so i don't know if there's any more monitoring and evaluation team for that so that they will help in fostering what you have started thank you so much your excellency i want to let the excellency know that apart from the father travel expect a lot from him which him himself attests that anytime he's driving around the street in jalingo if not only in Jalingo, across the local government areas, he sees people come to the street waving at him with expectation, and which he has really laid a very good formidable foundation to achieve that. Another area that I want to stress more that my colleagues have not thought is about His Excellency's engagement in Abuja. I've been opportune to move with him in Abuja for some times. He has actually performed credibly well. I always say that some of the meetings he has been carrying out in Abuja is very open in the media and I don't think he has gone to Abuja just alone, him alone, to just go and relax in the hotel like other governors are doing to enjoy. But he is always visiting some of these uh, embassies and federal agencies and seeking for partnership, bilateral relationships. And my advice here is that Your Excellency, Tarabans want to see the fruit, the result of some of your Abuja engagements. And I want to uh, encourage you that you should pursue some of the meetings that you have held in Abuja so that the people of the state will actually know that this is what is taking to Abuja and this is the outcome of it. Just of recent you had the Tate Fund and we know some of the commitment you have made there and the people of the state will want to see this thing coming to bear. The media uh, government relation. For me, I will commend you. You have done uh, your best because if you look back, you are one of the governors that have received the most publicity in this uh, first 100 days in office. I don't think any of your colleagues have been publicized in the country the way you did. So the advice, my advice is that you, know, you should build on these relationships so that we, we will give you more publicity. That is why we are here for you. And we want to also encourage us to do the more. Thank you very much. The governor responded to the issues raised and challenged journalists to always draw his attention to challenges observed. He announced that the full implementation of his free education policy will commence in January 2024 in fulfillment of his campaign promise. He added that distribution of free school uniforms and textbooks to primary and secondary school students will commence in January 2024, citing harmonization of its education reforms as the reason for the extension. All the assessment, the observation you've made are well noted, and I'll make sure I follow it to the latter. Just like I said earlier on, I won't deny the fact that there are many things that have not been done, which I mentioned them in my speech. I want you to follow my speech very meticulously and then use my speech to remind me all the time. That is why I make it public so that every word that I said, I should be able to back it up because I'm speaking from the position of the governor of the state. So it is my responsibility to give our people the best service. And that is why we're here to serve. So I want to assure you of our cooperation, all the coordination that you need will be done. I will continue to relate continue to interact, continue to support ourselves so that we can see that the people are being liberated. So once again, I want to thank all of you and every policy that I've laid out, especially in the education you're talking about, I want to assure you that we are harmonizing the uniforms so that we are going to provide uniforms to our children.
in primary and secondary school. And because these things take time, so I want to assure you that by the grace of God, when our children will be resuming to school in January, in January, they will be resuming with all these materials from the government. But for now, school fees, primary, secondary school, remain free, and school, uh, uh, children are entitled to go to school free, and it's compulsory. For the tertiary institutions, I've instructed 50% reduction. In state university, I've told the VC to reduce the accommodation to 50% for the students and repair some of the, host, uh, the hostels that are bad. All the courses that have not been accredited, I have given approval for them to be accredited so that children can go for this. And running courses will be given to the schools, so no uh, university, no school have any reason to become a tax master on these children. And if anybody is found to be doing that, the person will face the, the, the law. And I'm going to take it very, very seriously. I'll see the person as a saboteur and you cannot sabotage this initiative. So I want to assure you that I will always follow up what I've said with action. And I need your prayers, I need your cooperation, I need your support. The leadership of the ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the state passed a vote of confidence on Kefa's Abu administration. They said the governor is walking in line with the party's manifesto as well as promises he made to the electorate. Uh, the governor, His Excellency Dr. Agbu Kiefers, is recalibrating Taraba State. Within the 100 days in office, he has done things, made pronouncements that are exceedingly encouraging. We are delighted that we have him as our governor, and very good days are ahead. He has done remarkably well within 100 days. Look at his intervention in the education sector, free education at the levels of primary and secondary schools, cut in tuition fee in the university, and accreditation of all unaccredited courses in the university, polytechnic, and college of uh, education. Yeah. Well, you see, honestly speaking, we have to appreciate Governor Kefas because his policies, his programs, in fact, by the time they are in place, everybody will be happy. So his 100 days, uh, is, there's every possibility that if we wait for the time for him to implement this, his program, we'll be okay. Some residents shared their views on the administration's achievement in 100 days in office. Governor Kefas Agbu have done incredibly well in the office so far, which uh, he promised that his his cabinet members are going to be mostly youth, and he has done that. And if you can see, he promised free education, and currently he has done that too. And he has slashed the uh, university fees by 50%. And so far, I think they are enjoying that. And if you can check, Governor Kefas Agbo is a man of his words. And by Hence, some youth staged a peaceful rally to mark Governor Kefas achievements in office in 100 days. The One Million Man March was organized by Taraba Peace Network. It was a 10-kilometer walk from the trade fair complex to the government house in Jalingo, where the governor was presented with a certificate of excellent performance. Among the youth groups are students of Taraba State University, Polytechnic, Colleges of Education and Agriculture, Health, among others. The leader of the group, Philip Achagwa, 
said their mission is to show appreciation to the governor for the youth-friendly policies of his administration. Achagua explained that through the free education policy of the administration, enrollment in primary and secondary schools has increased. He also commended the governor for allowing women and youths to form 80% of his cabinet, as well as slashing of school fees of university students by 50%. Youths. He has proven to be a man of his words. Your Excellency, we say a very big thank you. Your Excellency, sir. Cool. I want to talk. talk. I want to yearn. Yeah. I want to celebrate. celebrate. I want to felicitate. Felicitate. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Taraba State, His Excellency, Dr. Abu Kefas, the giant stride of development in Taraba State, the man who talks and do, the man who keeps to his promises, the icon of students, the symbol of youth. Your Excellency, ably represented by the Chief of Staff, Honorable Mr. Dr. J.G. Williams, MNI. Your Excellency, we are people of Taraba State. The youth, the students, and even the aged, we are here to celebrate with you on your developmental strides as you clock 100 days in office. Your Excellency, we want to tell you that you have touched the lives of many. Let us start by counting what you've done in the lives of the youth in Taraba State. I happen to be a leader that have moved and have requested and have pushed for youth inclusion in politics and governance. Yes, Your Excellency, we want to tell you that the youth of Taraba State are happy with what you've done in the youth sector. You have given us not just one, two, three, four, or five, but about 80% of your present appointments are youth. Please, can we give His Excellency a round of applause? <laughs> I may wish... I may wish to bring to the notice of everyone gathered here, both the pressmen and everybody, that His Excellency promised that 90% of his appointments are going to be basically youth. He has proven to be a man of his words. Your Excellency, we say a very big thank you. Your Excellency, sir, on behalf of the students of Taraba State, of which we have the SUG president of all institutions in Taraba State, led by Comrade David Bazooka, the SUG president of Taraba State University, Your Excellency, they are here to say thank you. Students have tried to see how they can be able to cope with the hardship of the subsidy removal. And all of a sudden, out of the blues, out of the thin air, His Excellency stepped in and said, 50% reduction, 50% slash. Your Excellency, we are here to say thank you. Baba Mumbodi. His Excellency may wish to know that. His Excellency may wish to know that we are like Oliver Twist. We will always ask for more. Your Excellency, we want to urge you, we want to encourage you to keep doing the best so that Taraba State can boast, Taraba State can stand among other states that claims they are city to boast that we are also living in city. Your Excellency, we want to say thank you. We are here in our numbers. We've come together from different groups and bodies to celebrate you, Your Excellency. So we want to say thank you. And on behalf of Taraba Peace Network, who is the body that is in charge of this mobilization to present an award of excellence to His Excellency for his outstanding performance in governance. The chief of staff to the governor, who received them on behalf of his principal, said Governor Kefas will continue to partner youths for development of the state. He, 
he appealed to them to rally round the governor for a better Taraba. Roots of Taraba State. Yeah. The great youths of Nigeria. Yeah. I am here to receive on behalf of His Excellency the entire youths of Taraba State who have made it all through from their villages, from the comfort of their beds, to come here and felicitate with the governor, Dr. Kefas Abu, for the numerous policy statements he has made about piloting Taraba State to greater heights. All eyes are on the youths in Taraba. The world is watching you. Everybody in this country is watching you because nobody has done anything more than what Dr. Abu Kefas has done to the youths in Taraba. If you look at his, can, uh, his cabinet, you will realize that the promise he made that 80% of his cabinet will be made up of youths and women, and that he has delivered. The race is for you to watch and to encourage all the youths that are in the cabinet of Dr. Abu Kefas to walk and actualize the aspirations that you all believe in it. If you don't encourage them, if they fail, all the youths have failed. Yes. If they succeed, subsequent government in Taraba will continue to employ the services of youths and women to work for the progress of the state. Yes. Therefore, don't relent. Don't relent in your activities. Don't relent in your advocacy. Don't relent in whatever you are doing to promote Taraba State. The gifts you have brought, I will make sure I deliver it to the executive governor. And I am going to tell him what you have brought and what you have done to his administration. The world is also watching. This is not on the gate of Taraba State alone, but the whole world will be watching you, and they are watching you live. Therefore, continue to maintain the tempo, continue to maintain the velocity, continue to maintain the speed of your work, and pray fervently so that all of us will succeed in Taraba State. This message will be transmitted to Governor Kefazabu officially, but on the social media, I know that it is very much trending now around the world. Thank you very much for coming, and I wish you good luck and God's blessing. Whatever he informs me later, I will call your leader and tell him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Some of the youth spoke on the achievements of the governor in 100 days in office. Dr. Abu Kefas is indeed a just and fair leader. His track record is visible. Of emergency of Keba. Now that Keba has been the governor and Taraba are expecting more, how will you describe this man with his 100 day in office? Uh, my name is Comrade Bashir Yakubu. I am the chairman of the organizing committee of this uh, group. Uh, governor Kefas, within the 100 days in office, he has performed beyond the expectation of all the citizens. Right? When you look at the promises he has made, including youth inclusion in governance, students 
concern and welfare of the students and so many areas of agriculture. These are the areas where we felt at youth and students of Taraba State to march, to mobilize one million youth from the length and breadth of Taraba State to come to the government house Jalingo to show him our appreciation for what he has done within the 100 days. Appeal to him to continue to do more. As Oliver Tweet has said, that no matter how you have given, people will continue to ask for more. He has performed beyond our expectation and we are very, very much delighted with all his achievement within these 100 days. Thank you. Filled all your campaign promises and we are so happy. You said your government is the government of the youth and that of women and you have achieved and you, you've started uh, 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 redeeming your pledges, all the stuff that you've said during your campaign and you are fulfilling it. We are so grateful. Uh, Highlight of the occasion was the presentation of Certificate of Excellence performance to the governor. Meanwhile, a group known as Taraba Youth Vanguard yes. commended Governor Kefas for his youth-oriented program. Members of the group who paid a curtsy call on the governor... Oh, check again. Members of the group who paid a curtsy call on the media advisor to the governor, Emmanuel Bello, pledged to give the administration more support to put the state on the path of development. And we want to tell the, we want to tell you, sir, that we are here today to uh, specifically uh, look for partnership with you, with the state government through you, sir. Because uh, if you look at our, in our achievement, there are so many programs we organize for the youth. We organize program like sensitizing the youth on effect of drug abuse which has been held in Traba State Polytechnic. We organize uh, STDs awareness, which has been held in NUT here in Jalingo. We have visits Malum Primary School and donated exercise book. We have the governor's special advisor on media thanked them for the solidarity visit. The governor used the 100 days in... I'm happy that uh, the leader said that you want to be used as tools for good work. That's very important to me. That's the message I'm carrying away. To say we're going to support you. Um, I'll introduce him to the palliative committee so that if they have anything to do working with groups, they should use you as the tools to reach. The governor used the 100 days in office event to restate his commitment to the welfare of the people of the state, stressing that he remains unwavering and more determined to address the challenges facing the state. The people attest to achievements of Governor Kefas in 100 days in office with programs and projects like free education, environment, environmental protection through end to illegal mining, purchase of tractors and seeds for farmers, distribution of palliatives, healthcare revolution, improved security, among others.